welcome back to another episode of Shade TV. My name is Marissa Hill, and today we are going to be taking a look at the woman's exclusive Nike Dunk Low in the Green Glow colorway. Let's take a sneak peek. Welcome back to another unboxing and review. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Be sure to hit that subscribe now. Also, give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave me any comments or questions you may have down below. Also, hit that notification box. We have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button. We've got some amazing membership perks on there and also a merch store so head on over there when you get a chance to do that okay oh man this colorway as mentioned earlier we're gonna be talking about the nike dunk low green glows which were a woman's exclusive we're gonna be talking about the overview of this to start then i'm gonna head into some sizing and fit on these followed by styling i had so much fun styling these these this is just a great pop of color and such a fun color for the summertime coming up here and then we are going to conclude with how these shoes are doing on the resale market so I was at SneakerCon this past weekend and I saw a lot of people wearing these on their feet. And I will say out of all the shoes, I feel like this colorway literally was glowing on the floor. So if you were at SneakerCon and you were wearing these, I know for a fact that your feet got noticed. So let's jump right into it. Starting with the top of the front toe box here, we've got just some nice crisp white leather as that underlay. And then on the front of that toe box there, we've got that beautiful pop of green glow colorway moving up into the laces these are not just subtle white laces there is actually kind of a little hint of reflection going off there and it really honestly gives it this metallic effect and makes the lace really pop off of that just crisp white nylon tongue moving up we've got that nice accent of the green glow underneath that nike and swish mark to really make that pop uh, in that white colorway all right, so now let's just get into those details so you can see them up close and personal. to the side panels we've got the underlays of the white leather uh, with that nice just pop of green glow overlay going on the swoosh and it works its way to the side panels all the way to the back of the heel here you'll see on the heel counter we've got more accents of the green glow and that embroidered white nike logo on the back that just really pops off of the green working our way to the inner lining here on the collar again more of that just bright vibrant green glow color scheme and just a simple white in 
insole with a hinted accent of that green glow for the Nike and Swish sign. Then we are going to conclude this shoe with just a simple white midsole. And I'm like, wow, actually got these really dirty on the bottom. So I'm not going to flip that over, uh, but just a nice green glow uh, outsole to finish off the shoe. All right. So now let's take a close look at all the last details. <music> All right, so jumping into a size and fit on these, I would definitely say go true to size. Again, this was a woman's exclusive. So I got this in a size nine. Sorry, fellas, for those of you who are unable to cop these because they didn't have your size. This is just a phenomenal colorway. Uh, but definitely, again, I do have high arch, narrow feet. So if you do have a wide flat-footed feet, that may actually differentiate you from what size and fit will work for you. Also, I would say that I do tend to like to wear my shoes on the looser size. I do also like to have a little bit of extra space. So that will also decipher what size will fit perfect for you. But again, my recommendation is stick true to size on this one. All right, so now let's move into styling. I had so much fun styling these. This is just such a fun colorway. So for the first look, I decided to just kind of pair it with a matchy matchy tone. I went with this denim coat that is kind of a cucumber green, but I think it really just played off of the green glow in this specific color scheme and I had some matching shorts in that same green color scheme and I feel like this is definitely a shoe that you can really play with pastels. Pastels look great with the green glows. And I might be down to help them fight for a mission if I knew what all the fighting was for because you got an endless list to twist when things aren't going your way you got them convinced our fiction different spin every day i'm not gonna tell you what you're missing you wouldn't listen anyway but now that i'm here i've got something to say this is the last chance to tell you that i'm not coming back it's the last chance to prove For the second look, I decided to wear, again, that kind of cucumber green color scheme for my top and a button down. And I paired that with some cream pants. I love cream pants. I know you guys have heard Costas and I talk about this, but like, I think cream is just such a great colorway for the spring and summertime. It's nice, it's refreshing, and it really just kind of helps make this shoe the statement piece. And it really pulled the look together. This is the last chance to tell you. Come too far to let you mess with my vision Cause we dream of something more They're not gonna hear you cause the truth is loud And soon somebody will listen I hope you know what all the fighting was for Ooh, Cause I got an endless list of gifts when things start going my way You may be convinced that I can't win but I don't care what you say and then for the last and final look, I wore a runway motel sports bra. You guys can find the link for that sports bra down below. That's on Culture King's website. And I paired that with just some nice, simple, essential black shorts that I just got uh, the past week. That is in double XS, if you're wondering the sizing on that. And I feel like that was just a nice, comfortable look, especially if you are wanting to kind of be athletic in your fashion statement. This works works so well and the black just really I think is a great tone to also make these shoes truly the statement piece. I'm not gonna stand for your so-called mission. I don't believe it anyway. But now that I'm here I've got something to say. This is the last chance to tell you that I'm not coming back. It's the last chance to prove
guys let me know down below what was your favorite look out of the three. how these shoes are doing on the re resale market. All right, so these retail at $100, which everybody loves a $100 price point. The Dunks always have such a great price point. Uh, but these are going between 115 and 320. Obviously those larger sizes are doing much better since this was a woman's exclusive shoe. All right, you guys, that's all for this episode. Thanks so much for tuning in. Again, if you knew, you're new here and you have not hit that subscribe already, be sure to do that. Hit this video with a like. Also leave me any comments or questions down below. Hit that notification bell because we have a ton of heat coming out that I don't want you guys to miss out on. Also, be sure to check out that join button as well as our merch store. All right, you guys, this is Shay TV. My name is Marissa Hill. We will catch you on the next episode.